guys and welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome my name is Hannah and I'm the mom of muscle and in today's video guys we are doing countertop styling for your kitchen as well as some essential items that everybody should own and a couple tips for you guys so if this is something that you're interested in watching just keep on watching but if you haven't already be sure to like comment and subscribe make sure to hit that bell button for every time I upload a video and if you aren't already following me on Instagram I'd love to have you over at mom with muscle but without further ado, let's get into this video. So even though we are talking about kitchen counter styling tips and tricks, and I'm in my living room, I decided I want to just like kind of mix up the backdrop for you guys. I'm sitting on the ground. This is super casual. I have my list of points to go over with you guys, but I wanted to kind of play off of the video that I did on kitchen island styling. I did a video a few weeks ago. If you guys haven't caught it, I'll leave it up in the cards here for you guys. But I did a video on kind of different ways to style your kitchen island. Now I did make the mistake of saying, everybody has a kitchen island or everybody has a, a kitchen peninsula. And that is totally not the truth. Duh. So this is going to be geared for people that have maybe smaller kitchens. Maybe you're in an apartment or a condo and you don't have a kitchen island. I want to go over some really essential items for styling your kitchen countertops as well as I do have like one big point that I want to go over with you guys when it comes to styling your countertops. So let's get into tip number one for you guys. So the tip that I want to just throw out there and go over really quickly is when you guys are styling your kitchen countertops, keep it functional, okay? I don't know why some people think that they have to have every single kitchen appliance housed on their countertops. <sighs> One, that is going to make your kitchen look extremely cluttered. And two, it just doesn't look aesthetically pleasing. If we are styling your countertops, pick items that are functional. Pick the ones that you use on a daily basis. For example, for myself, I use my toaster and I use my Keurig without fail almost every single day. Now, I do have a lot more space to house more items, so I do have my KitchenAid mixer on my countertops as well. But if you are in a smaller space, Pick the items that you use on a daily basis. Everything else, put them in a cupboard, put them away. You do not need to have them out. So that is going to be kind of the big takeaway from this is keeping it functional, keeping it looking beautiful, but keeping your kitchen countertops functional to things that you use on a daily basis. Now I'm gonna go over some items that I think are essential for styling your countertops. I think everybody should have these either in your back pocket as like a little note to self, or keeping your eye out while you're shopping or to go ahead and pick yourself up something. So also as a side note, I will have everything down in the description box. If you see something in my kitchen that you want to get your hands on, all the links will be down below for you guys for easy purchasing as always. So the first item, which I think is essential and I think everybody should have either one of these items is either a pedestal bowl or some sort of dough bowl or bowl. Function for this to house your fruits on. I think when you have a beautiful pedestal bowl or you have a beautiful dough bowl to house your fruits it not only brings color into your kitchen but it adds some contrast to the flatness of a countertop and I think it's not only functional because you're using these fruits or you're grabbing from this bowl on a weekly basis a daily basis like I said the biggest thing for this is it's beautiful and it brings color and life into your countertop so I think having a beautiful pedestal bowl or some sort of beautiful bowl I'm not really a fan of the ones that are like stacked, uh, like a tiered basket type thing. I think that's kind of dated, but that's just my personal preference. So I typically will either use the pedestal bowls that I have, or I will use my dough bowls as a way to house my fruits and veggies. So that is going to be the first item that is essential for styling. Another item is a tray, some sort of tray. And I have my tray styled right next to my stove to house all of my essential items when it comes to cooking. I have my salt and pepper. I have my olive oil and vinegar. I have my utensils within a container on that tray. I think it just keeps everything kind of clustered together rather than having it all over the place. And these are things that I use on a daily basis when it comes to cooking my dinners at night and it looks really beautiful. So I think having a tray to kind of ground your space for the items that you grab on a daily basis when it comes to cooking is absolutely huge. Now I will get asked a ton of questions on my tray because I get blown up all the time from this tray to begin with. I got this tray from Home Goods. I can't link it, I can't find it, I can't even find a dupe for it, you guys. So as a side note, I'm possibly going to be doing a DIY to replicate this tray. If it turns out great, I'm gonna post it, but if it doesn't, then 
sorry. Um, so yeah, that's kind of like a random side note for you guys. But a tray is absolutely essential when it comes to styling. Most definitely next to your stove, your essential items for cooking. So that is the next item. All right, the next items, cutting boards. Oh my gosh, you guys know I love my cutting boards. I have so many cutting boards. I have new ones, I have marble ones, I have antique ones. I love cutting boards. Now, a couple reasons why I love cutting boards for styling. First reason, functionality wise. You guys can have ones that you can pull off your countertops and use or they can be 100% for decor. For me, I use them 100% for decor, but I also love that they bring dimension. They take a flat surface and they add some kind of contrast between my backsplash and the rest of my kitchen. And I also use them as a side note for covering outlets. Now, I absolutely hate my outlets on my kitchen countertop. I know it's part of having an island. I know some people can like have them hidden underneath their cabinetry, which I wish I had, but I don't have that luxury. So I will actually use different items. I will use my cutting boards as a way to hide those, those ugly outlets. And I will also use items like my KitchenAid mixer or my toaster oven to help hide those items as well. So maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm a weirdo when I say I just don't like looking at my outlets. I don't think they are beautiful and they kind of mess up my whole aesthetic. <laughs> you guys know I'm about my aesthetics. I hate looking at outlets. Using the cutting boards has, has been a great way to hide those ugly outlets. So that's kind of like a side tip for you guys. But I think cutting boards are huge when it comes to styling and make sure you layer different textures, different colors, different shapes. It just adds a lot of dimension when it comes to styling your countertops. Okay, a really simple item, a candle. Have a beautiful burning candle in your, or on your kitchen countertops. I think having a candle brings warmth. It brings a coziness vibe. I mean, you guys know candles are awesome. We all love candles. For me, I can't get enough of them here in my home. I have candles all over the place, but I definitely think having a beautiful candle burning in your kitchen on your countertops brings warmth, brings comfort, and also brings a really great smell. So that is another essential item that you guys must have in your kitchen. Another essential item is cute soap dispensers. Now you guys, I think using really cute, aesthetically pleasing soap dispensers is an easy way to clean up your kitchen counters. Now I am not really a fan of having like name brand type, um, like Myers or just mix match of bottles on my kitchen countertops. So I will either buy like matching, you guys will see in my example, I have like amber glass that everything is very aesthetically pleasing, everything matches or I will get, which I did get from Target, was like the Magnolia Home um, kitchen spray, kitchen dish soap, and that looked really pretty on my kitchen countertop. So I definitely think investing in some really beautiful bottles is a really easy and simple way on styling your kitchen counters, but just kind of cleaning up the look of your countertops. And I feel like I'm gonna be saying countertops a ton in this video, so I'm gonna try to limit that, but that is a very simple way to style and make it look beautiful. All right, the next tip for you guys, live plants. How many times have you guys heard me say on my channel, it's all about bringing fresh greenery in, plants, flowers. I cannot get enough of having fresh greens in this house. I think it is a very, very simple way in any room, honestly, to style and to bring some color, to bring some warmth, dimension. I absolutely always have to have fresh greens in my kitchen. I absolutely, it's a must have for me. And to be honest, greens are not even that expensive. Even when I go to Trader Joe's, if I haven't stopped on the side of the road, as you guys know I do that, I will stop if I see a plant and I'll take a clipping from it. Like, please don't arrest me. But I absolutely love picking greens up on the side of the road. At Trader Joe's, they're like $2 a bundle. Simple, pop it in some water and you have fresh greens in your kitchen. Now I think that brings some life and some dimension and some color. But if you aren't a live live greens person or a live floral person, no problem. Pick yourself up like a really cute faux plant. I even have like a little kind of faux olive tree, which you guys will recognize, that I have as well in kind of a corner tucked away, styled with some of my other essential items. So I think that's another really great thing to bring into your kitchen countertops is greens florals or anything that's faux to bring some color and dimension. So that is another essential item for you guys. All right, and kind of the last essential item, you guys, if you guys are going to house your Keurig on your countertops, less is more. Again, put your coffee mugs away, put your creamers away, put your frothers away, put all those items away if you can. Again, less is more. I have my Keurig and I have my 
canister, which is another item I was gonna say is another essential item when it comes to styling your countertops, is having a canister that holds like your coffees in, or if you don't even wanna have a canister and you can put it in a drawer, that works as well. But I definitely think taking a less is more approach. Oh, husband just walked in on my video. All right, so husband just totally walked in from the day on my last point, but I definitely think putting all those items away in a cupboard is, it, to me personally, looks better. So I keep all of my mugs above. I keep my frother above. I try to keep things very, very clean and simple because I feel like, again, the more you have on your countertops, it's not only gonna take up space, but it's just gonna feel cluttered and just not really well put together. So if you can find a canister to put your coffee mugs in, a really cute one, do so. Mine, I think I got from like Hobby Lobby for four dollars or something on clearance so that is kind of the last essential item for this kitchen countertop styling video all right you guys that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed i um had a lot of fun doing this i like i said i want to apologize for saying everybody has a kitchen island which is totally not the case so hopefully this will be geared to anybody that has some sort of kitchen countertop in your kitchen and are looking for some fun and simple ways to style your countertops without it looking overdone. And as always, you guys, I love you. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps my channel a ton. We are slowly growing and I'm so excited to get to 10K and share hopefully another giveaway with you guys. So share the word, spread the love, and I love you guys. And we'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.